Hey guys, I'm Monkey Mavac here from the video. Guys, comment today coming in from Huday who says, Why did you downgrade your whole entire team? You will see in this video. I'll explain the whole entire thing in this video. Like, go for the video, guys. Can we smash 75 likes? And question of the day is going to be the same thing as the first video I uploaded where it is going ahead and revolving around my Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow me on twitch.tv slash thatmuckgamerYT. If you go ahead and answer this question of the day correctly, go ahead and comment down below your Twitch username and you will answer to this said question. Whoever gets it correct, the first person who gets it correct will get 100 gamer bucks. Second person will get 50. Third person will get 25. Again, this all relates around that Muck Gamer YT on Twitch. Go ahead and follow my channel. Who has the single, uh, the who has scored the most points in a single season? Comment your answer down below. Once again, who has scored the most points in a single season? Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. All right, guys. So starting off right away with the spending spree, this was kind of how I wanted to formulate my God Squad. I wanted to start off by really just getting the line complete. Now, obviously, the offensive line is the most important position in the whole entire game. That's where you want to start any kind of squadron you build. And my main goal here was I wasn't going to not get secure protector on every single one of my offense linemen. As you guys know, my last God Squad, I didn't have secure protector on any of my offense alignment, and I feel like that was a really big uh, detriment to my squadron. So that's what I went ahead and made sure I did. Obviously, if I didn't get secure protector on every one of my linemen and powered every single one up, I could have spent a lot of coins on other positions and really just made the whole squadron better. But again, the men in the trenches, that's what you want to go ahead and max out, and that's what I did. So that was my main goal. Go ahead and make sure my offensive linemen all have secure protector. Last time I built a team, I really went balls to the wall when it came to making sure I went with go deep. That chemistry is useless in my opinion. So what I went ahead and did this time was we're going to go ahead and go with zone run across my whole entire defensive line. And then we're going to go with play fake across my receivers, halfback, and quarterback. The reason why I'm going with play fake is because it adds plus, I can get up to plus four on throw accuracy short to Michael Vick. So that's why I went ahead and did that. I want to max out Michael Vick in that category. And as the time goes on, I'll go ahead and get even more coins and I'll be able to add, or, you know, power up even more players. But at the moment, I wanted to go ahead and really just get a good foundation for the squadron. And that starts with, you know, really just bolstering this offensive line and building around the outsides of the offensive line. So again, that's what I wanted to go ahead and do. Now on defense, my main goal was kind of have the same concept that I had last time. In all honesty, I already have a lot of good NAT cards on defense. I already had Darius Slay. I already had Javion Clowney. I already had, you know, Deion Jones, Ryan Shazier, Ray Lewis. I already had a lot of good players. So all I had to do to go ahead and even improve this was just going ahead and adding a little bit more to the squadron. Obviously, I needed to add two cornerbacks, a right end, a D tackle, and a left guard. Oh, sorry, a left end. I needed to add a free safety and a strong safety. So obviously, I went ahead and did that accordingly. But that was my main goal, just slowly bolster this whole team as a whole as it slowly comes together. Now, again, I had some, you know, on offense, I really went balls to the wall when it came to spending spree. Most of the spending spree, I'd say 3 million of it, was just on that offense. That offense was meant to, you know, just be that, you know, one first offense. That, you know, ground and pound offense. And that's why I got zone one. Zone one goes ahead and gives me plus two to run block. And if I go ahead and get maxed out, I can get plus three to run block. After this team is completed, I'm going to show you the whole entire squadron as a whole. But currently, we will have lockdown tier uh, six. So max out lockdown. We will have pass rush tier um, four, which last time we had it tier three. Now we have it tier four. We have play fake tier four, four and we have zone one tier four. So we have actually, unlike last time, we had only two chemistries. This time we actually are going to go ahead and have four different chemistries, one being tier six and then the rest being tier four. So a very nice, you know, addition to the squad adding these chemistries. Now, personally speaking, I know a lot of people have been asking me about John Madden. You know, will you ever pick up John Madden? Obviously last year I had three John Maddens because I went ahead and gave them away but nonetheless when it came to John Madden general this year is not like last year when it comes to John Madden I know a lot of people last year love John Madden 
This year was completely different. Last year, John Madden, his base card, went ahead and gave plus one to speed and a lot of key attributes. This year, that's not the case. And this year, John Madden's a lot different than last year. Last year, we had three different John Maddens. Obviously, you had to go ahead and play squad games to upgrade him from tier one to two to three, right? This year is a little bit different. This year you have a base John Madden, but in order to even add any chemistries on this John Madden, you have to spend 2,000 training points per chemistry slot. Outside of that, once you get done that, again, you can only add two chemistry slots to this John Madden without having to go through another season, and then obviously throughout the different series throughout down the road, Series 1, Series 2, Series 3 of Head to Head, that's when new John Madden's unlock. So you have to go ahead and do a whole process to do it. So that's why personally I did not go with John Madden. Now, of course, some people, you know, obviously still like the John Madden. I'm just personally not a fan of how much it costs to complete him. And you don't get plus one to speed this uh, this early. You can't get plus one to speed with that John Madden. Now, another thing I've been looking at and I'm probably going to go toward, but just not yet, is Sprinter. A lot of people right now currently have Sprinter on a lot of players. And I saw someone on Twitter have Sprinter on every single player they have on the whole squadron. And in all honesty, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's not like, oh my god, why would you get Sprinter? I just don't want to do that this early on. Keep in mind, guys, that obviously I will be selling my team again down the line. You know, obviously when a new promo drops or big promo drops that crashes the market, I will be selling my squadron. So going ahead and getting Sprinter really, you know, fully committing to one chemistry like that, that's something that's very dangerous to do because you can lose a lot of coins by going ahead and eventually these guys you have Sprinter on are not going to be players that you have on your team in three or four months by now. And you might be like, oh, well, obviously, but I want them for right now. But if you understand how much Sprinter costs to go ahead and unlock, it costs 3 million coins to unlock Sprinter on your whole entire team. Imagine spending 3 million coins right now and, you know, when you downgrade all your players to sell your team and then, you know, upgrade your squad, you're going to lose 3 million coins. I mean, we'll say you lose half of it. I'm not sure how much you lose with Sprinter. Let's say you lose half of it with Sprinter. That's going to go ahead and cost you, what, 1.5 million coins to lose. So that's why I'm not really going all out with Sprinter yet. It's a very good chemistry, but it does cost a lot. Now, you could make the same argument with Secure Protector, but I'm only putting that on 5 offensive linemen. And I believe these 5 offensive linemen I'm rocking with right now, I could probably use these guys until January. In all honesty, with how the stats look and how they play, I could probably use these guys in January. Thankfully, well, not thankfully, but the thing that sucks with uh, Madden is there's not many new offensive linemen that come out usually. Now, there is a heavyweight promo that's going to go ahead and help that out to add more offensive linemen a lot quicker. But usually, we don't really get too many offensive linemen that are higher roles in promos. Or we don't get too many offensive linemen that are like crazy, you know, overall wise. And what I'm actually going based on is last year. Last year, if you guys do not remember, I believe like we had 27 different receivers that were like a crazy higher role. We had so many different, you know, um, uh, cornerbacks, halfbacks, all that kind of good stuff. But when it came to, you know, just actual, um, you know, offensive linemen, we really didn't have too, too many. I believe we didn't get a left tackle being a 99 until the very, very end of the year. Uh, currently, for example, actually, okay, my bad. I actually, I was looking at last year and I was like, whoa, we actually had a lot, but it's because we had the same position, same player, like five different times because of chemistry. If you don't go based on chemistry, yeah, we didn't have too many crazy, you know, top of the line offensive linemen so again that's this year will be different because we do have the heavyweight promo but i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say that you know these offensive linemen should be pretty good for the next five months so just keep that in mind whenever you are picking up a player if you're going to add sprinters to them keep in mind that you are you going to be using this guy down the line are you going to be using this guy in six months from now when you have to downgrade him and lose all that training points so that's why i personally am not going sprinter it's a kind of team chemistry type of thing I'm personally not going with a team chemistry type of thing. Um, nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and finish off this lineup. And again, we will go ahead and show you the whole entire lineup uh, once we all done this. The only player that I pick up in this video that I'm not recording is going to go ahead and be two guys. I pick up 
Tylo Eifert, which is an 87 overall uh, tight end for the Cincinnati Bengals. And the second guy I pick up that's not in this video is going to go ahead and be 85 overall Greg Olson, who is now actually hurt in real life. Nonetheless, though, uh, those are the two guys I will be going ahead and picking up that you will not be seeing in this video because I personally forgot to record the last two pickups. There were about 106,000 coins picking up both of those guys. But those are the two guys that, again, you will not see in this video. But I do go ahead and add to the squadron. And I do go ahead and, you know, pick up. But I just don't go ahead and show them. Um, key differences, I'll go ahead and look into them once we go ahead and look at the lineup in the end of this video. But personally speaking, I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see, you know, a lot of these players I'm playing with or added to the squad... I haven't played with before. I've always wanted to play with Odell Beckham. I've always wanted to play with Tim Brown, but I've never picked them up because I've never had the coins or the nece you know necessary. I uh, never was necessary to pick them up. This actually doing this you know new whole Bills or not Bills squad. This whole new squad actually went ahead and let me be able to utilize these newer players and stuff like that. And that's something that I really like. And that's why, personally speaking, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Last time we did this, we had J.J. Watt. This time we have Cameron Jordan. And I actually personally really like Cameron Jordan. He's actually, in my opinion, a really, really good card. So finishing this off, guys, we will go ahead and pick up one more player. And that will be Bruce Smith. And again, we do have Greg Olson and Tyler Eifert. But I can't show you in this video because I forgot to record it like a dum-dum. So let's go ahead and finish this off, though, with, actually, no, sorry, Geno Atkins is going to be the la second to last pickup we make, and then we'll pick up Bruce Smith, uh, which I was just making sure I had enough coins. That's why you see me going back and forth. I was like, do I have enough coins? And I figured out I do. So let's go ahead and pick up Bruce Smith, and let's go ahead and get right into the lineup. And I will be streaming with this lineup today. So twitch.tv slash thatmonkeymoyt. Stop by and check it out. We'll go ahead and see what ends up happening. All right, guys, let's get right into the lineup update. One second. All right, guys, so here is the lineup update. And as I told you guys, we do have secure protector on every single one of my offensive linemen. We also do have lockdown tier six, which is giving me plus three to catch, plus three to play right, plus three to man, and plus three to zone. We also, actually, I did not mean to go out of there. We also have play fake, and we have zone run tiers four. And we have uh, Pass Rush Tier 4. Pass Rush Tier 4 is giving me plus 2 Pursuit, plus 2 to Press, plus 2 to Power Move, plus 2 Finesse Move. And of course, going down the list here, we do have Play Fake, which gives me plus uh, 2. You see the stats like that. I don't need to read them all. Sorry. I, I'm just thinking myself, I'm like, it's, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm, I'm like acting like you guys are stupid at reading these all off. Nonetheless, though, we do have zone run right here. And again, the key attribute is going to be plus two to run block. So, for example, we look at Alex Mack right here. Alex Mack, personally speaking, has 80, oh, 94 run block, 86 pack block. So, pass block a little bit, eh. But definitely run block is very, very nice. So, of course, we have Odell Beckham. We have Tim Brown, Antonio Brown. So, a little bit different than last time. Last time, we went ahead and we had Tyreek Hill and Randy Moss. This time, we have Tim Brown and Odell Beckham. Uh, last time, we did have uh, Travis Kelsey. This time, we have Tyler Eifert. Last time, we had Lane Johnson, 70, 87 overall. Now, we have 93 overall. Uh, Alex Mack will replace uh, Travis Frederick. And, of course, these two guys will stay the same as before. Defensively, instead of having Brian Dawkins, we have gone to Sean Taylor. Trying to see how he plays. Same thing with Landon Collins. No difference there. And then, of course, Darius Slay. And we have Mr. Uh, Aeneas Williams. Or Aeneas Williams, I think someone told me. And he is, of course, replacing Champ Bailey. Uh, we have Jason Wright. Or Casey Haywood again. I call him Jason Wright. Casey Haywood again. Bruce Smith will be uh, replacing Howie Long. We have uh, Geno Atkins replacing Bryant Young. And, of course, we have Cameron Jordan replacing uh, J.J. Watt. So those are going to be the guys that, of course, are replacing the other guys. The squadron will be a little bit different, but I like this because I want to try out new players and see how they play. So this is the squad, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.